Right, delighted to be here with James Milner. James, you're playing off six handicap, but you show your short game's not quite where it needs to be. No, I think I'd take an average short game at this moment in time. Yeah. So. Hopefully um, you can sort me we're out. Gonna have a good luck, okay. Yeah. We've got lots of time, so we're gonna go through it all. So the first shot I'm gonna watch you play is a, just a perfect fairway fringe line to the back pin. This is a kind of the, the, the bread and butter shot we get a lot when we miss greens, okay? Yeah. So do you tend to use uh, different clubs around the green or do you stick to the same one generally? Um, yeah, I think, cause I've obviously been struggling, you're just trying to find one that you feel most comfortable with. Mm -hmm. But I think when my short game is feeling okay or I'm practicing, I'd yeah. use different clubs, okay. yeah. All right, so right now where you are, what are you going to use that pin? Um, it's a bit downhill, is it? So I'd probably... Down and back up a bit. Yeah, 54 maybe, 50. Okay. okay. And what tends to be the main issue? Is it is it consistency of strike? Yeah, fat yeah? and thin, yeah. Fat and thin. Fat okay. and thin. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, even like if I get a bit nervy, like you get like uh, just complete topper or, yeah, okay. you know, like. Is it more so when you're trying to play more of a higher soft landing shot or is it, is it literally on this type of shot as well where it comes in? Yeah, it can be everything. Okay, fine. I, I, to be honest, if you gave me a shot which you'd say, oh, this is impossible and it's a big flopper, okay, I'd play that better than yeah. if you gave me this easy one here. Yeah, like where you've got to hit through a tiny yeah. gap in the trees or whatever. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. like. So like most people on the warm-ups for the long game would start with some pitch shots and stuff to get going. I can't do that. I've yeah. got to go full to get the strike okay. and then come back to 50, 60 yarders. Yeah, okay. Tom Watson used to do that. Yeah, because around. I just, otherwise I'm thin, fat, like yeah, okay. just all over the place. Okay. Cool. So I sort of have to feel that rhythm. Yeah. Bearing in mind I've just got a car from two and a half hours and not okay. hit anything yet. So let's see what happens I'll first. I'll give you a few minutes to warm up. But... Right, so. Might be too much club, but... <laughs> Okay, have a few more. So you've said you read my book. Have you managed to incorporate any of that stuff in? Is it, does I'm it make trying, sense? Yeah, I mean the detail, like obviously, like the one club difference and yeah. stuff. So I, yeah. I probably need to go over it again to get yeah. the real. But the big thing for me, which I think's helped me general, is the release point. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just I think no because I'm just finish. thinking. Yeah, because then instead of thinking about positions at the back and that, yeah. I think I have a tendency sometimes yeah. to get really yeah. in and I'm thinking about this and that. Whereas it just get me, just get to there. Yeah. Okay. Get to there, get to there. Okay, good. And I think that helped me. Okay, nice. But I don't know if this is too much club, and that's why I'm deselling on this. But... Okay, come on. <sighs> so is that the one you get? I mean, you bottomed out really early there. Is that is that quite common for you? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like I say, I haven't. Heavy got, and thin. I thing. haven't. Uh, Got anything right out of a but I think you set up there's a better one, but nice strike there. There you go. It's old probably one. is too much club in it, that's why I'm probably well, you got fifty there. Fifty, yeah. Well you could I mean you can do it with fifty, you just gotta bring your landing spot back a little bit. But if you feel yeah. comfortable, I you think know, like, I, yeah, I think I, if I can and spin yeah, it. yeah. And just because I can be a bit more I think longer is better for me because I yeah. tend to get long anyway. Mm -hmm. So I think obviously if I get short and I get a bit yeah, exactly. decelly. So I think that long, smooth one into it. Okay, one more and we get started. Good. Nice. Good. Some good stuff there. All right, stand this side. So, so well done on the setup. I can see you've been definitely uh, reading the book. There's some good stuff there. I really like how you're setting up in terms of ball position, shaft angle. Stance is fantastic in terms of the, you know, the, the difference there between your feet and how you're setting the left foot there. That's really good, really good. So I'd say from lower body down, we've got it. Right. Okay. You're a tiny bit close to the ball, right. a bit too close to the ball, which I think doesn't help you in terms of how you're gonna move, which we'll get into in a minute. So just move half an inch further away, not a lot, but. The byproduct of you pushing this way or trying to push this way is you've got too much shoulder tilt at address. So there's the right shoulder sitting too low, which is one of the reasons you bottom out early. Right. Okay. So we've got to get the left shoulder much more over the left side of the pelvis at address. So it's going to feel like you're more in front, your chest bone is going to feel more in front of the ball this way. So we're getting more of a consistent pivot line that runs from the foot through to the shoulder. That'll make a big difference. Feel like that in a moment. And that's one of the reasons, and you kind of alluded to it a little bit, you do get quite a long way in here. You've got excessive forearm rotation in the backswing. So it rolls in, 
it gets in here and then you're trying to do that correct sort of number one release but you see it's just hard from here and that's why you tend to catch it too far behind the ball. So I think setup, as I say, is going to make a big difference, but then also getting a better feeling for how you take it away in terms of the left shoulder initiating more in conjunction with how the right hip moves. When we start getting you there, and then you start making that move, which you look pretty good at, but it's just from the, from the wrong, yeah. wrong um, yeah. swing plane. Once we get it there and you start moving around the corner, your angle of, your angle of attack is going to be a little bit more down and your low point is going to be more more in front of the ball right. and you'll be able to pinch it much better. Remember, this is for the chip and run. It's a different yeah, conversation yeah, on yeah. the other shots, but we've got to start with this and then leverage off it. Does that make sense? So we need to have it a little more in front yeah. and a little bit more round, yeah. but I think the setup's going to make a big difference. Yeah. I think we can get this. I don't think this will be too No, too yeah, difficult. I think the amount of red and the stuff I know, yeah. and I seem to be able to help a lot of other people with theirs, yeah, but, I yeah, yeah. but I know... You can't see yourself and you'd feel it. Yeah, I knew like the struggles I've had, there's obviously something there mm -hmm. that's stopping me doing. Mm -hmm. Because when I was on the pitching green, it was like, yeah. fine. So the things you're a just... good player, you've played for many years, you're a good sportsman, you've got good you hands. You adjust okay? the cart, yeah, exactly. find no, a way. Yeah. You're in here and you bit, that one you hold was pure. And you've hit a couple of really nice pure ones, but you're having to work quite hard to return yeah. that. And it's got to be one where if you don't quite get it right, it's still this one exactly. as and instead all, of... And all the top pros I've taught, I promise you, they're, they're mishitting chips all the time. Yeah, it's how bad, they miss how it good your bad foot. is, isn't it? And you yeah. watch on TV thinking, wow, these guys are amazing or whatever, but they've just got a bigger margin for error. Yeah. And you haven't got any margin for error at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay? And that's sense. why when you've got that one ball on the course, yeah. when, you, when you get going in the groove with a bucket of balls, you're okay. Yeah. Right, so just get, forget everything I've just said and just set up to the ball, okay? Yeah. Because that's the other thing, probably. Like, so with my longer, that's where I struggle. Like, my driving will be good, but man, so I, I things creep into each, because I don't play enough, yeah. things creep into each area. Yeah, sure. So my head at the moment in my long game wants to get there all the time. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Because this is my dominant eye. Yeah, sure. So again, I wonder, because I'm trying to get my head behind the ball in the long yeah, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then I think it's short. that's mm -hmm. just to make you aware of that, because obviously no, that gives you, you And then I'm always left. Yeah. So myself, for my long game, I've got to do this, this, and then yeah, pull my yeah, shoulders back, because I'm so twisted. We're trying to get here. Right. Yeah. Because I'm so twisted. Right, so just, let's just get set up there, okay? So you can see this, don't just stay there. You see the angle here, okay? See yeah. that tilt, right? So we've got to go much more, you know, much more that way. Right. Does that feel different? Yeah, very different. So don't, look, don't hit it just yet. So if I just take a picture of that, this probably doesn't look like it feels to you, but you can see that's me moving you much more that way. So I was that, so yeah. left shoulder, down, if anything. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Heels down. Me. That that's that's after that's, I moved you. Right. But you can still see there's a touch of tilt, which is fine. We take that. But before it was it was really exaggerated. Like that. Yeah. Right. Okay. So right. trying. So what I actually did there was got the left side of your pelvis and took that in a bit, which then allowed you to get the upper body more stacked over. That so you're almost doing this. You're trying to do the right thing, and it's doing that. So you've got to feel like you're doing that. Right. Okay. You're almost tucking your pelvis in to get your upper body more over. Right. That's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. And then perfect. that gets all my weight through there. That's fantastic, yeah. Just a touch further away from the ball. Just a touch. Don't feel uncomfortable in any way. Just a touch further away. Good. That right. Feels miles away. Okay. Well, don't, don't feel miles. Just if you just, just Well, then touch, I get too it. far away on my long game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Right. So as you go back, this is you at the moment. Okay. This is you at the moment. You go here. Yeah. And it wraps in here. Yeah. And that brings you in here. Yeah. Okay. So we need to get a better feeling of what initiates, what ignites your action. And it's got to be more from here. All right. This shoulder, okay? So it's your left shoulder pushing away and just move it away now. So it's more, more there. All you right. feel that? Yeah. So that's where I want it. I'm going to help you uh, with these first few swings, okay? Just to get the feeling of it out in front. That's it. There you go. Good. So we'll hit a few with me. Uh, you starting it, but I'm going to help you with the, with the movement away, okay? When you're ready. That's it. So we'll come back. We're going to hit the ball this time, right? So off you go. Okay. Now you know what I'm doing, okay? You slide your hands there. Let's do it again. Just try and get a movement for the body and then how the body's working, then we'll uh, smooth it out. All right, and so here we go. I am hitting it though. Yeah, we're hitting the ball. Right, how did that feel? Anything different? I felt like the club was lagging behind me a bit. Okay. Or well, my body hit the ball rather than my hands. Okay, good. I'm moving you much more around the corner through the ball. Hopefully you're feeling that. So the left arm's gonna feel like it's starting here. Yeah. Push it away and then round. So that's much better. Round a lot more. Okay, so the hands like are it's a long swing and I'm... Yeah, so your hand power's going much more to the left. So you can do a few on your own. I'm going to stand here. 
So as before, right, you'd be taking me out, I need your shin pads. <laughs> right, so I'm going to stand here, and you've got to feel like the club head's in front of you. Right. And you're doing that with shoulder and a little bit of hip rotation. There. Right. Okay. Okay, and again. Now, see how that got stuck going back? Yes. That's just your grip pressure's a bit tight. I know you said when I was holding it, yeah. you're, you're holding it way too tight. So you've got to let your arms just yeah. hang. If you look at videos of Sevy chipping, right, he always had a flex in his arms. Right. Yeah? Not just like relax. that. Yeah. To be fair, I think that's what I'm in the other day. I was more relaxed, but yeah. well, obviously really you're telling me this and that and getting this position and then I'm just like, relax. right, am I in that position? Yes. Right, in front of me. Okay, nice and relaxed. Just in front of me and turn through. That's much better. There you go. Now take your chip. Okay. So you see how that's coming left because yeah. I feel like going left. Is that just me no, aiming right. there? or We'll get on that in a minute. That's icing on the cake, so if I want to get the main ingredients in first. Right, out in front of me and then round out in front. Good. That's better. There you go. Does that strike feeling more like later now? Yeah, and it yeah. you can see it like checked up a little mm -hmm. bit, like it's proper strike, isn't it? In terms of your question on your aim, yeah, you are aiming you're aiming at this almost almost at this first hole. Yeah, and the hill's a bit like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Isn't it? So if we're gonna play the shot to the pin, at the square. Okay, so in front of me and then round the corner. Nice and relaxed with your arms. In front of me. No, nope. bit nervy on that one, but you, yeah. even if you get a bit nervy, but your plane's right, it's still all right, you, you think. That's what you're saying about margin for error. Yeah, and that's what you need to get to, your bad ones. Yeah. Well, I promise you, those first four or five you hit, you would you would have been hitting me here, right. right? You're way in front now, so much better. Right in front of me, and then open up soft. Nice, that's really good. I mean, you can't strike it much better than that. One more. How's that, how's that left side feeling? Yeah. I've got to do it on every yeah, one. That's it. Feel a lot into my left glute though. Mm -hmm. Good. Gauging it all right. So in front of you. Got a bit stuck there going back. Just watch your grip pressure again. But that's flowing so much better. Right on your own now. Bit inside again there. You feel it? Yeah. That's it. So left shoulder pushes away. No forearm rotation. You're feeling no forearms out in front. Through. Very good, James. That's excellent. That's excellent. I love that. So much easier to hit from there. Yeah, what's this uh, swing length like? Because that's the other thing when I'm thinking about stuff like that. I tend to get long because you're thinking about this, this and this. I think for you, long's good. Like, in a way, for this shot, I want you to be more longer to shorter. Right. If you look at all the greats who've ever chipped, they've always been long to short. Yeah, right. The people who really struggle, from what I see, are the ones who get short to long. Yeah. And nervy that way. Obviously, you can get too long. Yeah. I wouldn't say you're too long at all, though. Because I'd say, them, oh, historically, that's been my problem. I've probably deshelled into yeah, it. So sure. I get too long, and I'm like, my yeah, subconscious so takes too much over. Intake, yeah, yeah. But you want to be looking for this shot, the chip and run shot, you want about two thirds to a third. And that's more tempo, isn't it? And it's and as long as you feel relaxed and it's tempo, tempo yeah. But you want to get a feeling like it's just, it doesn't mean you're slowing down to go there. You, you, you put the brakes on when you get there, but you nip, nip to there. Right. And that's what also controls ball flight. At your level, you need to make sure, this is what, this is what short game mastery is, is making sure that your ball goes through this imaginary window every single time. Right. And if you look at the beginning, it's all over the place. Yeah. And the problem then is when your ball flight's all over the place and you strike to a degree, you don't, you're, you don't get that innate feel about how much it's going to run out. Yeah, yeah. But la those last sort of, you know, let's say six out of the last eight shots, you've been through the window. Right. Your brain then starts knowing what it's going to do. Fire, and yeah. the people say, how do you teach feel or whatever? Feel just comes from great technique and great strike. Consistency. And the rest of it just happens. Yeah. You know, you don't really want to think about it. It just nah, happens. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just practice it again. And right in front of the shaft there, okay. That's good, the there's lovely, okay. Just open the face a little bit, you're a bit shut again, okay. Out in front. Yeah, it's nice. How's that feel? Yeah, I felt- A little easier? Felt smooth, yeah. You've got a lot less to do now. Yeah, it felt like, that's what you want, isn't it? You just yeah. know that you, you've got nothing to worry about, really. Yeah, nice, good. Right in front of me. Yeah, that's pure. That's really good. I love that one. 
See, that didn't feel quite as good to me. No, but I love the movement. I'm making it quite tough there because, you know, if you if you get a little bit out, you're going to hit my leg or you're going to hit my, my club. Yeah, I don't right? So there we go. No, you're a busy man. <laughs> you just do that a bit too much. I know that, and the grass is kind of a bit sticky, isn't it? It's kind a bit of low. Like, it's, um, on the takeaway. What or... you've got there going on mm -hmm. is the club is just simply pressed into the ground. So just relax. Much, you see? Right. So you've got to feel like your club, yeah. it's like, it's just lightly hovering. Right. Yeah. I don't do anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need to, a bit of relax. See, that got away smooth. And you can see the ball, the, the noise, the strike, everything was better just from that alone. I mean, yeah. just grip pressure, grip pressure alone. Massive. If yeah. you just do one thing, just get your rip pressure lighter yeah. and just let the club sit on the on the blazer grass instead of push down, it'll be yeah. massive. So that'll be why I struggle on grain as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, if he can stop, great. Yeah, much smoother. Yeah, we were talking about the grain, weren't you? Like you're playing Dubai quite a lot. Yeah. When you've got that sticky grass and it's certainly going into you. yeah if you're coming in from here that's just going to catch way too much of it so when i'm when i'm playing on, on on that sort of grain i'll be really doing making sure the planes bang on but i'll move the ball a little bit further forward right okay because you want you want to feel like the, the bounce is going to work a little bit more this way okay so you don't use your most lofty club kind of go 54 yeah but just feel like when you when you go through it's really passing through this way when you if you come in here yeah. And then you're going this way, it's just going to grab all day long. Yeah, just it's just going to totally snag. So, yeah, you've got to feel ball forward a little bit and see how it passes through. Yeah, so you feel the bounce has gone there. Yeah. It's never, ever going to get caught then because you're using more of this part. Yeah, yeah, because I've had to do this, like, vertical and telling. Right. That yeah. was the only way I well, could find a shot. way that of is doing a, it. That is yeah, a shot. it was a way of <clears throat> doing it, but... Good there. Good. That's got a little bit of a bit of finesse and flair about it now. Release two, we're, we're talking gonna, here. We're going to do a release two here because the, the problem here is if you've only got that sort of release one shot, you can see it's just going to get too hot on the downslope. Yeah. So we've got to soften the flight here. So do you think so, it has to be 58? Well, yeah. I'm going to watch you play the shot. I want you to I want you to land it about two three yards onto the green, spin it, and then just let it filter down. Right. So you play it as you normally. I'm going to play a 58 just to be a bit more positive on it first and see how that. Uh, yeah okay interesting here we go let me show you something here i'll stop you there right <laughs> so because um because you get your wrist tends to come in this way so i did that without thinking about anything yeah. there because i wanted you to see what yeah. i do normally so, so what you've done when the wrist goes this way it flexes down you've got that 58 but you if it was a live ticker on the on the loft, for example, it would go 58, 50, it'd be something like 43 there. Right. So what's happening is basically the left wrist is turning down this way. Yes. So not only are you taking the loft off, you're also taking the bounce off. So it's going to tend Don't to, you down. say you should go on soft ground, didn't you? you yes. Know, for, uh, driving up. So, you know, we've got to get um, you know, the bounce on better. So when you take this away, let's go this way so you can see, but you can see how the club is more there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. as soon as you get the club into that more toe up position, you can land that before the ball and you get that nice spinny sort of soft flight but as, as soon as you go in this way it's just really scruffy yeah yeah so that would be your that would be why you struggle when you're trying to get that higher sort of softer uh spinnier release two shot okay because it just gets in here so it's an extension of what we've done Similar. but really if anything just stand a bit lower for this shot get your hands down a bit lower and just really feel like the club's going to be outside and i really want to see some cupping in there if you can get some cupping in this wrist you'll get this shot all right you're, you'll there at the moment all right big difference that'll right. completely change the shot not only as well you know what you're trying to do here is let the club fall on its own momentum you see how it just wants to fall down soft yeah but if you're if you're so if you're here you can let it fall right but if you're here you can't do that you got a minute so you've just got it there let it fall down so just in slow motion if you get it there it can fall all right but from there it's not going to do that okay So here we go. So come back, come back to the ball. That. So this is you. Yeah. And this is where we want it. Here we go. This is perfect. This is perfect. 
Wow. Can you feel that? So, in your words, what have you felt there? It feels like I'm pointing the club at that tree. Okay, to... right. Can you see this? Yeah. Yeah, that's the big change, okay? So, try and do it on your own then. Just take Perfect. it. Just take it. Don't hit it. Perfect. There. That's good. What we're actually going to do to train this in, though, I'm not going to use a 58. We're going to do it with a 54. Yeah. Because when you've got a little bit less loft, it kind of incentivizes you to do it a little bit more. Do it better. Yeah, more like that. Okay. Just open the face a fraction at a dress, just to put a bit more bounce on. And then, yeah, really hit keep it. Hit it or not? Yeah, hit one now. Don't worry about the, where it goes. And the same setup. No, what you get? Good question. Down no, no, no. So what? Because that's question. what a lower thing. So yeah, just... exactly. So the lower oh. body is going to look the same. Yeah. But the upper body, you can relax a bit now because right. we're looking for an indirect yeah. contact. We're looking to so bruise this before the ball. This one, I just normal. Quite a strong loft. That's what we want to do. Train it with a strong loft. Okay. Good. That's lovely. There. Here we go. Cup the wrist. Yeah, that was much better. Now you didn't quite let the club fall, but that was good. That was, did that feel different going yeah, back? Yeah. Did you? How's that feel? Felt like a proper got yeah. underneath it. It's good. But then I really watch one of yours how much you seem to release the hands through it. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. That's why you get your spin on it. Mm -hmm. There. All right. See so from there. So right degree. Now take take your thumbs off the grip now and just let the club fall down. So it swing down a bit there. That's what we're trying to get the feeling of. Right. I think your grip pressure kills you a bit as well. <laughs> because it's so tight, you see. You yeah. think about if I'm, if I'm holding this, it might look like my thumbs are on the grip, but they're not really, you see? Not doing anything. So I would do some practice. Once you start, I mean, you, you just nailed the plane with the last couple, which is much better, but once you, once you can trust your plane, I would hit some shots where you're almost letting the thumbs come off as you start down. You see, and that's what allows the club to start releasing. But if, you, if I go here and I squeeze my thumbs, see what happens? Yes, pull. So really, the, yeah. the two pads here are really the problem. You want to feel like you're holding it in your fingers, but your thumbs are barely on, and it will start to flow better. I mean, how did that feel? See the picks of the ball just really revved up there. Yeah. Yeah. So you hit that with the thumbs literally off then, didn't you? Yeah. A little bit behind you again there. But can you feel the club head more when you take the thumbs off? Can you feel the weight of the club? I can feel the club head where, more aware of where it is, yeah. Excellent. That's the whole idea, yeah. I'm just going to do this, actually. So, yeah. Keep it out there. Keep it out there and then really feel like a slow motion transition. So just let it see that's nips. That's a great shot. That's come a out a lot shot. lower that. Yeah, that was the friction went up there. Like you really you really zip that there. Remember this is 54. It's probably not I mean the green's actually really firm and fast there, so yeah. it's hard to control it, but in front, that was lovely back. There you go. See the spin on the ball? Yeah. <laughs> It's hard because it's going to release down that hill, isn't it? It is, it's... really quick. I'll play a different shot in a minute. I just want to train it here. Yeah, yeah. So. so that's pretty good. Now you've got to just learn to just kind of be a bit smoother here. You, you, you're releasing it. There's a big difference in this shot on making the release happen and letting it happen. Okay. And you made that happen. You made it happen really well. But... If you get it bang on plane, you're soft enough here, you can just feel like transition takes five minutes. And it's like, I'm here all day. When you're ready, okay, now you're moving. Then you pass so it through. would I leave my hands there and just let my body take it or would I no. just literally let it fall? You've got to let it fall. And then as you're coming into the ball, that's when you just have a gentle turn through. All right. That's that's fantastic. That is beautiful. So that was the body turn off to get to the height. Yes. And if I don't, you get the lower. Yeah, exactly. You're a little bit more trappy. That was perfect. So is that how you'd play? Uh, we'll get onto that. Don't we? <laughs> Let me get this first. One thing at a time. That's good. No. Yeah, but don't don't in a way, but don't don't get too frustrated with that, because that's in a way what you're trying to do. Now, you want to margin for error where you just, you know, you've hit that, what, two to three inches behind the ball there, and it's actually, it's kind of the idea. We are looking for an indirect contact on this shot. Ideally, one inch behind there. 
Right, keep the club in front of you, keep the cup in the left wrist, let the club fall down and just gently turn the chest through the ball. Lovely, there you go. Now that is different league. That's different league. That's with 54 oh, degree, right, yeah. that was perfect. Did you feel transition there? I yeah, took an eight. Like yeah? you say, five minutes or yeah. whatever, yeah. Whereas previously, I'd have, been, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd have had time to do forward swings yeah. out of my short game was um, a couple of years ago. <laughs> Felt like I came off my left side of it on that one. <laughs> Do you mean what, swayy. What, that way or that way? Yeah, that way. Yeah, okay. Well, that means we just got to feel it. As you play that foot, you just put a little bit of yeah. pressure through it, yeah? Okay. Right, okay. Good stuff. Right, we just need to get that club releasing a bit better now, okay? So, so do this. Hold hold the top of your arm in. So thumb thumb there on your on your chest, okay, and fingers sort of on the arm. That's it. Really apply pressure inwards that way. And then when you go to the top, as you start coming down, I want you to feel like you apply the pressure, so you can start to see how the club releases more with the bottom part of the arm instead of the top. Does that make sense? So that's good there. So basically, the more you can strap this in here, that allows you to release at the bottom. Right. Sometimes you get a bit that way. Yes. You see, so you get a gap here. So. Just hit the next few shots and really keep that glued in. So as you come through, it's passing through that way. You feel that? Yeah, felt more connected. Again. So what we're doing here is narrowing the arc of your hands, basically. So you know they're not driving away this far as much. Okay. That was nice, that was different. That was different. Feel that? I felt more connected for sure, yeah. Good. He's looking for toe up, you're looking for clubbing in front, and you're looking for cup, more cupping that wrist the better, yeah? For you. See how that directly changes the face? Yeah. Yeah? Nice. Good. Did go to 58 now, which is probably a shot on this, on this down slope. Same thing. But if you train with a stronger club, it's going to make you much better with this club. Yeah. Right? Train harder when you play. Yeah. Slightly made it happen, but good. I like it. Nice, very, very good. Very, very good, look at that. Look at that. That's a worldie. <laughs> nice, isn't it? You see that first bounce, it almost like went straight yeah. up. And that's the spin, it tends to ball straight up in the air. Yeah. Connection's yeah. massive, because the best ones on the longer ones over there, there was the connection feel as well, mm -hmm. wasn't there? Over oh, left arm? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So you just watch this back now. I think you'll like the speed of this swing now. See how smooth that looks. Yeah. You see how, so you can see the setup's good. You've got a little bit of a tilt back. Club is released. And so just after the ball there, it's perfect release too. So it's now on the belt buckle, you see? So that's the bounce now sliding. And because you're concentrating on the pressure here, where your logo is on the shirt, the pressure there's in, that passes it through at the bottom. That's what narrows the arc and gets the club flowing. A big difference on that, like yeah. going round. And then you've got to keep moving, yeah. like even after you played shot. And if we were doing a longer version of this shot, we just keep moving. Right. Put it round in the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. All right, James. So obviously you've been. I remember you turning pro at football at sixteen. Is that right? Was that uh, the first yeah. the first team at Leeds? Yeah, long time and ago. Basically, now. you're still playing now at the age of thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. So that's twenty-two years at the very top flight at yeah. football. I mean, it's a bit like a golfer's career in a way. I mean, you know, golfers kind of get about 20 years, I'd say, at the peak. You know, they can really play for that long, but you don't get many you know, Premier League footballers playing that long. What, 
what do you feel it takes to sort of you know mentally and physically over that length of time to maintain the levels you've you've done playing for amazing clubs Liverpool, Man City, and Brighton, and England, obviously. You know, what's your secret? I think you've got to work very hard. Yeah. I think you've got to dedicate every bit to being as good as you can. You know, recovery and open-mindedness to try new things and embrace everything. Because obviously, when I started, the game's a lot different now. Mm. The amount of physios and mm. sports scientists, detail to nutrition and all that. Need a lot of luck, obviously, with injuries and stuff like that. Um, but I think it's the desire of wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. I think every day I still want to be the best. If we're doing a running drill, yeah. I want to be the, you know, embarrass the young lads and yeah, wind sure. them up and things yeah. like that. So I think if you lose that hunger or if the manager picks a team and you're not fuming, you're not in it, I mm -hmm. think that's the time you it's time to give it up and yeah. I still have that drive really. I think it's a huge, huge crossover in different sports. I think, I think top, top level sports is no different regardless of the sport. It's, like you say, it's all about the mindset. It's all about making sure consistency, day in, day out, turning up on time yeah. and just getting, getting, uh, you know, like I say, getting in early, doing the drills and getting on with it. I think it's just absolutely huge. And, um, and also just talking about your, uh, you know, you took a lot of penalties in your career and you had a really, you know, really high success rate. You know, you've, you've scored the vast majority of them. And I think there's a bit of similarity between maybe hitting a tee shot or even yeah, a putt yeah, in golf. Yeah, yeah. You've got a stationary ball. So it's only time in football really where the ball is stationary. Yeah. And you got a lot of pressure. You got you got the goal. You got the goalkeeper, which obviously is a, is a hazard, like it could be a bunker or yeah. a water hazard in golf. Mentally, when you know it's a penalty and you get the ball in your hands, you know what do you do, sort of to to click in and focus? Because I think focus in sport is absolutely key, particularly in golf. But obviously, for that moment in a penalty shootout, high pressure, is there anything you go to mentally to try and deal with it? Yeah, it's very similar to golf. I think you're right. I think. At that moment in time for me, I'm trying to get in the zone straight away. I'd have done my homework on the goalkeeper. I'd have mm. practiced maybe the penalty I was going to do. Some keepers are different. Some keepers will go early. Mm -hmm. um, other keepers would, would maybe wait a bit. So that changes how you're going to take the penalty. But I think it's trusting the, the work you've done. You, yeah. You've practiced, practiced, practiced. Same as golf. You go back to that, trusting the work you've done, but being in the zone, being slow and calm in your head and, yeah. and just focusing on that really. And do I think. you think about the spot you want to hit it? Yeah, I think if I know exactly where I'm going, yeah. Yeah. Um, focus on that and um, just go through your process really. It's, it's the same as a tee shot for me, the penalties, the run-up will be the same. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, every time, like I say, unless I'm keeping an eye on the keeper because yeah. he might go early, yeah. um, it'll be the same as golf, you know, the same how many steps, whether you've got yeah, a metronome yeah. or all that sort yeah, of yeah. thing. Because if you've done something a million times, like sometimes you'll drive to work, you are, you'll get there and you're, how have I done this? It's yeah, just exactly. autopilot. And that's you do that much practice to get to that point. And at that point, it's just keeping your head and being calm. Yeah. Obviously, in high pressure moments, it's easy to get nervous. and yeah, yeah. But... If, if you've you're confident, got a routine, if you've got a routine, and you you're confident, confident to do, and, and you're calm yourself, in your head. I've done this a million times before. It's the same as a golfer yeah. hitting a tee shot, 18th hole, leading by one. I've done it a million times, okay? Focus on And it. I think you've got to enjoy and embrace the pressure yeah. because ultimately if there's pressure on it, it means something. Pressure's and everybody pressure. wants yeah. to, pressure's a nice thing to have. If there's no pressure on it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Whereas if you're in a position where there's pressure on something, that's what you want. That's, exactly. It means that's you what you're playing for. Exactly. <laughs> But that sort of thing, coming out a bit flat and drivey. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not a bad shot, but you can see it's, it's running well, on 20 it's feet, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's, uh, no contact, is it? It's... And then that one as well. Yeah. Okay, cool. One more. Right, stand on this side. So, <laughs> You've got a good idea of what you're trying to do. You're definitely, you've got, we've got to get a lot more solid with your leg action. Right. You know, you've got way too much leg action going on. That's, that's why you're struggling with low point control. You've got some good idea. So the width of stance is pretty good. Left foot's nice. You like how you're flaring it out. You're pushing this way. You're actually standing a bit too close to it. Wow. Okay. And you, you've got to get further away. We've got to get down more. And what we've got to get you doing is actually... I know it might be counter again to, 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 in terms of what you've been trying to do today, but we are going to have to get you turning this right side a lot more. You're, you're kind of just picking your arms up, right? And you do want to be do it, working your arms like that, but you've got to do it with a turn. You've got to be able to turn. And then that's going to help you get back around this way. We have to talk a little bit about release, 
but the main thing is going to be getting away. You look a bit like this at the moment. You see how I've driven this way. Okay, loads of sand. Watch my left hip this time in terms of how it's moving, particularly kind of after the ball. So I'm going to turn the right side more going back, but you see it's round here. Yeah. That's what I talk about getting the whole side much more round. And you can see my right foot's like barely got off the ground. If it comes off the ground because you're rotating, that's fine. But yours is coming off because you're getting linear shift. Very, very difficult to control the depth of the divot and also where, you, where you're striking it. Okay, in terms of either too early or too late. So, so it's similar to the pitch and a bit getting yeah. round, round more, isn't it? Yeah, round, but but like really get a proper through. platform. Yeah, right, right. yeah. So legs and you're going to go in these footprints. Okay, I think your ball gets a bit forward as well. You're probably going to feel this is too this is further back. So club there. Okay, so get right in there. Right, that looks great. How's that feel? It feels... Any difference? Yeah, ball's further back, for yeah, sure. Yeah, good. Probably a little further away. Good. feel like I'm stretching for that. Pelvis forward a little bit more. Let's have a look at this now. Okay, that's the idea. That's where we want to go. That looks a lot better. Right, can you apply pressure down? Like, bang, root. Yeah? Yeah, but not sit down too much or... Not too much, but you, you want to feel like your feet are heavy. Yeah, then, You've got to yeah. feel like your knees are pushing into your feet, your feet are pushing down. Right. Okay. Right. To do what you're doing with the with the, with the wrist last time, but this time you're going to turn more like this. Body. You feel that? Yeah. Okay. That would be ideal there, okay? That's good. Now from here, let the club release, so swing the, swing the bounce, that's it. And then from there you're around on the finish much more. That's where I want you to finish. Right. If we get you there, you're going to get some real nice shots. Wow. Okay. That feels like this arm's much more across your chest. Yeah, yeah. And you're around here in the holster, okay? All right. Look how this how cup this is here. Right, so it's fine. So we we got you set up, we know what we're doing there. We're gonna feel heavy feet. You're gonna feel like you're gonna turn your right side a bit more, and you're gonna feel like you strike and you come round a lot more after it. We're gonna try and keep that right foot as quiet as we can. All right. Like okay, I like the movement. You still went that way a lot. Did I? Yeah. Well, like, does that feel different with the left side? Yeah, it felt. Yeah, that, like that was, I rotated so much. That was actually really good. We'll get this now. Just move back this way. I'll move the ball back. So that's it. Set back in again. Uh, out of yours. No, no, no. Go, go, to where, go where you feel you need to now. Okay. Like, lift your right heel up. Sun down. Right, you're going to leave that there, okay? Now you're going to turn around. That's it. I'm sure I've got the flexibility for that and leaving my right heel on the <laughs> cool. floor. I don't. Right idea, good. Right, now, you don't need to hit it quite as hard as you're doing. Yeah. We're going to soften it up a bit. But I like this, I, I agree, I don't want you hitting too many with that club there, but it's we've got to try and break the back of it, okay? All right. Do I'm allowed to move to get to that ball, though. There we go. <laughs> there? Yeah, perfect. Good. Right, let's take this away. Nice, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a better one. A bit calmer as well. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get that commitment at the bottom, but you don't want to be driving. Commitment driving. here. Yeah. This bit. That's it. Nice. That's in the holster now. That's better. Yeah, better. Good. So if the ball's above my feet in a bunker, because oh, right, that's okay. one shot I've always, yeah. I mean, it's I, tough I, shot. The, like I here. struggle with flat anyway, but with that, like like most things I can get my head round, yeah. sense around golf. So like obviously yeah. uphill downhill and stuff like this, but this was one like, it's always fat. So I think I'd, I'd probably try and aim right and play with the bank, but I just don't know how to play it. I just, well, you've got to try and play this like a draw. What sort of angle do you want to do, there or? Yeah, I mean, yeah, say, say the way. pin we were going to, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, the easy thing to do here is to hit it really heavy. I mean, there's loads of yeah, yeah, as exactly, well, so it's yeah. a tough shot. So basically, you don't adapt. If you don't adapt anything, you just play your normal shot, 
that yeah. sort of thing happens, yeah, yeah, right? Because yeah. you're just going to hit way behind it. So basically what you've got to do here is aim right. You've actually got to try and draw it. So you try and draw it out of the bunker. So I'd be aiming five, six yards right of target, face not that open, and then you've got to come in. So by coming inside, it flattens it, and then you can draw it that way. You see, so you're actually trying to draw it with the slope. Yeah. And then you don't hit way behind it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, loft wise, we're using more like a 54 there as well than the, rather than a 58. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, yeah. All right. So give it a go. Let's get 54 and give it a go. Oh. Right idea. You just killed it, didn't you? Yeah, I drew it. I just didn't you take did. any sand. Exactly. That was the right idea. This is this is the worst shot you can get in the bunker. Right. In terms of lie, right? That's it. That's yeah. lovely. That's lovely. Shallow little draw. Yeah. That's right. how you deal with it. All right. Cool. Good. All right. We're about done, I think. I've got to get back for another lesson, but yeah. Brilliant. Does that make sense? Yeah, brilliant. That's good. Right, James, great session. We've gone through the chip and run shot. Uh, really about swing playing now was a big one for you, wasn't it? It's a bit, bit, a bit more online there and sort of working around the corner, thinking about club choice a lot more as well. Soft landing shot, a bit more cupping of the wrist. And think particularly how that club fell down. That was nice, much lighter. Now it bruised on the ground and the chest turned past the ball is a big point for you. Bunker play, really about getting a lot more pressure down there and really narrowing that arc. And that just allowed you to play those much softer, spinnier bunker shots. So, do it all make sense? You're going to work on it now? Yeah, a lot to think about, but it'll definitely uh, improve my game for sure and hopefully, um, yeah, get that handicap down. Yeah, no worries there. Okay, I look forward to how you get on. All right, thanks yeah, for that. You're right. Appreciate it. Thank okay. you very much. Cheers.